Hey, Long Haul Paul here, and I'm here with my new YouTube channel, and it's called The Jerky Diaries. That's right. If you don't know, for the past four years, I've been traveling the country as a patient advocate for people who have multiple sclerosis. I also speak to groups of patients that have chronic illnesses like MS, and I also speak at motorcycle events talking about traveling by motorcycle. My Yamaha Super Tenere is uh, three and a half years old, has 172,000 miles on it. Every one of those miles has been chasing a cure for multiple sclerosis. Unfortunately, today's video has absolutely nothing to do with that. And this video is all about why I want a snowmobile for Christmas. It was taken last week on an accidental journey across New Hampshire's famous Kangamangas Highway. I hope you enjoy. on the road but uh, in the corners there for the most part the road's been pretty good boy I don't know if you got your Christmas tree yet but I um, certainly see a lot of them here well it's getting a little cold now it's down to 20 degrees and uh, it's starting to look like it's snowing on the mountain I've got 20 miles in so far. I could turn around, but I can also go forward. And uh, just see what happens. I think that the road is, uh, is well treated. I see bits of salt now. I had a great conversation with the guy, White Horse, here. He's talking about uh, adventures and they're a good group of guys, they, uh, they're knowledgeable, and uh, they got a decent amount of equipment there. Got a little bit more snow here, but it's very, again, it's very light. It's 18 degrees now. Okay, there's a, a sander. Uh, I don't know if that's good news or bad news, but... You know, some people might think I shouldn't be on this road right now. Well, you might be right. I believe I'm being uh, assaulted. 16 degrees out. I'm not sure if this was a smart idea. Again, I'm a little worried about the wind. And that's a snow cloud, let me buy. It's gonna continue going nice and slow. It's now 13 degrees. I'm starting to think, uh, not the greatest idea. Wind. Holy shit. 
again, it's the wind I'm a little worried about. Uh, you know, if I hit a slippery section and the wind takes me, not a lot you can do. So you're just keeping the speeds down so that uh, minimize, minimize the damage. Yeah, I'm an idiot. So this is the highest point of the mountain here. And we're pretty much riding in the snow. Washington but you know what it's 11 degrees it's snowy slippery and uh, a bit chilly and windy as hell getting to be a little scary. You can't see through my face shield and it is very slippery. If I stop, I won't be able to start again, so I'm just trying to roll through uh, these turns as best I can. Not sure why the sander stopped, but maybe I should wait for them. We're at the peak, and I'm hoping that on the other side it's a little, a little better. There's not a lot of snow on the ground for sure, but the problem is it is 13 degrees, and uh, at some point even the salt and the brine mixture does not uh, help don't help me there hitting some potholes and it's really causing the rear end of the bike to, to shimmy and slide a little bit so I'm just gonna concentrate and uh, yeah I'm going slow enough that uh, I'm not gonna cause any major damage but it's gonna take me a lot longer to get to the other side I'm not sure I'm gonna make New York City tonight So they said I should make a moto blog. I mean, I don't know what to write about. There's nothing I do that's exciting. Uh, I just kind of ride around and travel. And a lot of people say you're not really riding a motorcycle because you, you're always on the, the highway and freeway and stuff. I spend a lot of my time on the on the main roads. Um, but you know, when I do venture off, um, I like to take the road less traveled. And apparently, this road is the less traveled today. It's all good. Riding a motorcycle is adventurous. Okay, whoops, excuse my language. 
There's the hairpin turn, and we will do the best we can to get through this. I am actually sliding quite a bit. Uh, my rear end just, just uh, lost traction, so I'm doing the best I can. Uh, I don't want to go into the other lane, even though it looks very clear, obviously, for obvious reasons. This is the slowest anybody's ever done the hairpin turn. 10 miles an hour. If I could see the other side, I would probably venture over here a little bit. Uh, it's just cleaner. I got a little bit of view here. I don't recommend this, but you know, when it is snowing, you don't have a lot of options. And uh, clearly I can see quite a bit ahead here. I'm gonna venture over back uh, here lightly and then just so that was the hairpin turn at the slowest speed known to man maybe i set another world record look at that is that the sun i can't believe it the sun's out